Buck Daddy here, showing off the results of my latest project, the Terra Nemesis. That I posted pictures on Facebook and on Reddit while I was working on it, and now it's fully functioning. Basically, I'm demonstrating it. You can use that award to see how useful it really is, but it's fun so far. Um, basic function. Well, it's a tariff scale. If you put it on, connect your remote. While logs are in business, it moves around. There we go. So, we have that. The camera, which, mind you, is usually mounted on top, I end up mounting on the bottom because of all the wires that are connected to it. Uh, technically, most of the uh, pieces that we uh, connect to the PCB have actual plugs, but I didn't have enough spare uh, parts to lengthen everything, so I ended up mounting the camera on the bottom, and I threaded the wireless uh, antenna up here under the barrel of the Nemesis. So, the picture on the control is upside down, but you can still aim. I mean, it's inverted controls, basically. Uh, I took the clutch on the uh, elevation uh, gearing and uh, fastened it uh, together with two different machine screws, so that keeps the top from wobbling back and forth. It's pretty decently balanced, but it's still extra weight that the motor has to deal with, and without the clutch being fastened together, any jerky movement forward or backward would just make top oil. And even now, with the extra weight on top, I need a wheelie bar on the back, because if I do something too extreme, it will tip backwards. Anyway, so enough about that. The actual function is pretty much the same. Uh, I'll have a video along at the end of this to show you uh, the view from the camera. It's the 480p camera. What are you going to do? But it works. More importantly, let's get this moving. Yeah, it up. And the way I have this wired is the flywheels and the uh, belt and agitator motor are currently all running off the same circuit. Uh, when I press the fire trigger, normally you would spin up the flywheels, it would give it a second, and then it would kick on the pusher. In this case, I have the uh, wire out for the flywheel motors. Instead, going to a MOSFET in the back, uh, I ha tapped an extra lead off of the main battery, and it's basically just going straight to the motors uh, with the firing command. So, yeah, it's fun. It actually shoots pretty straight because it's a nemesis. It's uh, firing at the 9.6 volts and it has a uh, hop up to shoot relatively straight over the initial distance. Uh, put on a video here and you can see that uh, when I have it aimed at the door uh, 40 feet away, it actually groups pretty much around there. So, uh, unlike uh, originally when you used darts, if you aimed at something, you're, you were going to hit the lower. Uh So, the making this rival instead of darts actually makes it a bit more useful as a nerf tank. Uh, try switching gears a little bit. Uh, it does have some issues if i bring up another video, but it comes down to if you pack the uh, thing too tightly, uh, like you would normally on the Nemesis and the balls get stuck. Well, it's kind of hard to shake the thing when you're not actually near it. So, uh, 
that's just something I have to be careful with in the future, not to uh, pack balls in too tightly to the hopper. And other than that, I mean, it works great. I want to put some more putty on there and smooth things out. Uh, but I'm I really want to try uh, shooting at people with this now because it, it's relatively responsive compared to before, and you could actually use it at a war and be successful. I have yet to see how long the battery will last. Uh, like I said, I have a second tap off the main uh, battery that's there just to directly feed the motors. And since they're larger motors to, to begin with, I didn't want to do anything funky that would put too much current through the stock uh, PCB. So, well, We'll touch this thing up a little bit, and we'll see if we can do something else with it. That'll be it for now. See y'all later.